So now we've been talking about working with arrays and one of the things that we do now that we have them is this idea of uh, searching algorithms. And one of the big ones, one of the main ones, one of the easiest ones to think about is something known as a linear search algorithm. Now a linear search algorithm, all that happens with a linear search algorithm is I have some given key. I have some given key that's presented before I go through my loop. And then I literally am going to go through element by element until I find that element. And when I do, I'm going to return the index of that element. So the index of that element. Now right now, I've started out my uh, search my linear search so my index is at zero well my key is at three right now so I say does uh, list at zero at the index equal my key well in this case no it does not six does not equal three so what do I do I increment my index and I move on to the next element and so this time suddenly index has changed to one and suddenly I'm now looking at my four. Well, does my four equal three? No, it doesn't, so I keep on moving. Again, index has been incremented to two. One is at the two spot. One does not equal three. I keep moving, I keep moving, I keep moving until I get to index five. And index five, guess what? Index five equals a three. Three equals three, so what I get back is five. So how do I apply this? How do I put this into actual practice? And the same idea comes into play. We're still looking at this, and I'll let me move my uh, disembodied head for a second. Let's see, order, position, move to the top. Aha! So again, the same kind of concept comes into play. The first thing I'm gonna do is I need to create an array of random numbers. Now why do I do random numbers at all? Because I just needed to throw out a hundred of them and I want them to be all integers. So again random numbers I'm just uh, making random numbers from 0 to 49 and then I'm saying I want to look for when my key is 25. When's the first occurrence of 25 in this randomly generated array? Now one of the things you might notice is I'm also including this right here. Uh, int key index equals minus one. Min okay, uh huh? Well, if we think about indices for a second, uh, we're never gonna have a negative one index. We always start at uh, zero. The idea you can think about is you can never have negative distance. Let me think about that for a second. Uh, I have a dot right here and then I have another dot right here. Alright, well the distance between those two we'll say is, I don't know, two. Well, if that's two, then what's this? Well, guess what? Distance dictates that that's still a positive number. It's still two units away from this guy. So the same thing actually applies now when we're thinking about uh, linear search. I'm basically saying that uh, I know that I'm never, 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 ever going to magically have a negative one index for my linear search. And as the developer, what I can do is I can go ahead and plan ahead uh, and say, well, if I see that negative one, for example, I see that negative one or I don't see that negative one, that's something that I need to go ahead and account for. Then what I do is I basically, like I said, just like we've done up here, I traverse my array. I go through each element in my array and I say, does that element at i, at i equal my key? Does the element at zero equal 25? No. Does that element at 1 equal 25? No. 2? No. 3? I keep going until eventually list at i equals 25. If it does, what I do is I change key index to whatever that i is. Now notice the next thing I have is a break. 
And the reason why is because now that I've found the first occurrence of the number, I want to go ahead and exit out of my loop. Say, for example, we look at uh, this code again. What happens if instead of this being a 2, it had been a 3? Well, if I don't do that break, what happens is I immediately move to the next element. And guess what? I just said that this was a 3. So 3 equals 3. Now, suddenly, my index is 6 instead of the 5. I want the 5, not the 6 in this case. So I want the first occurrence. So I use this break right here to do exactly that. Then, like I said, I've got this check at the end. I'm basically stating, is my key index, did I find 25 inside of my array? And in this case, if it does not equal negative 1, it was found, hooray. And I'm just seeing for a second that it's not showing it. So give me just a hair. I'm going to fit this into one screen, reset size. That didn't help. Give me another. And three, two, one. Aha, there you go. You can see that, again, if it is negative 1, Array. If it is not, or if it is not uh, in the array, it is negative one, the element is not in the array. 